Hey, what's up everybody, Danny here, and welcome to this video on Kindle publishing tips. And today I wanna to talk about how you, to set up your Amazon Author Central account. Okay, but before we get into that, if you didn't check out the previous video, we talked about why you would even wanna have an Author Central profile to begin with, and the number one reason is branding. So for more information on that, you can, you can check out the link to that video. But uh, for today, we're gonna dive right in and get into the Author Central account. So if you're looking right now at my screen, you see that uh, I'm at the uh, Welcome to Author Central dashboard. This is the main dashboard that you'll see uh, that gives you quick links to your author page, uh, your bibliography, um, also new updates and, and things that get released on the platform. So any Author Central news, it looks like there hasn't been uh, any updates for a little while, but you should see them in here as well. Uh, the number one thing you're going to want to be concerned about, there's actually a couple of them. There's actually a few things you want to be concerned about. One is the books link here. This books link is going to tell you and list you all of the books that are assigned to your profile account. And your profile account is actually all the way to the right here. There's a drop down list if you have more than one. Now I've got two already. And these are these are pen names I've used in the past. They're I'm not actively building these brands anymore, uh, but uh, these are just some ones for demonstration purposes only. So, well, there's two here. How many can I create? Well, I want to create one for myself, for my own name, my own brand, and so that's what I'm going to be doing today. But there's one caveat. You can only have three pen names. So if you're someone who has other pen names, maybe you do ghostwriting in some other niches or whatnot, then you're going to need to be careful because you have a three uh, profile limit. But if you do need to remove one, it's it's real easy. You just click contact us and you can contact Amazon uh, directly and have them remove it for you. Unfortunately, you can't do it. As of this video, you can't do it yourself, but they are really fast in getting that taken care of for you. I actually used their phone support. If you're in the United States, you can use it. And uh, it look, took me less than five minutes to, to call them, get a call back, and have it manually removed. So pretty awesome stuff. Now, uh, to get started here, I already have a book. Now, in my previous video, I, I think I mentioned that um, before you get started publishing your first book to create this account, and while I think you can, you can uh, go ahead and at least register your Author Central account, you really can't associate any books or anything like that unless you have your book. So um, for the demonstrations of this video, I'm actually logged in as one of my pen names. Now, there should be, you would think, an easy way to just say create a new profile. It really isn't. How it works is you have a you search for your book first and then associate that with your account. So I'm gonna click on add more books and I'm gonna search for my name and I'm gonna click go. Okay, there we go. And now this book is actually mine. So I'm gonna click, this is my book. This is one of my old books. I have never branded it before. And so that's what I'm working on right now. Um, I'm not gonna click this is me because remember I'm logged in as my one of my pen names. So what I'm gonna do is, I have a, I, do you have a pen name? Yes, I write under a different name. Let us know. Click on that link. And then you're going to put in your own pen name. So I'm gonna put in um, Danny Liu. Okay, and I'm gonna click continue. And once you do that, you're gonna say, this is my book. And then you're gonna click, this is me. Boom, you're all set to go. So um, all you gotta do right now is look at, at the name change here in the upper right hand corner and it has my name now. So now I have uh, the ability to edit this account. I can do anything from uh, going to add a biography. I'm gonna click on that. You can, you can put a blog. So author page, when your author page is finished building, you're able to see recent blog posts. So there's lots of things you can do here. You can put some, some events if you have some sort of events, speaking engagements, any other types of events for your brand, uh, photos, your author page URL, so there's several different things you can do here. You can share um, so share some videos, 
and trailers if you have book trailers or anything that you want that's associated with your author page. So I, I hope this video helps you uh, get started with your author essential profile count. And if you have any questions, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. But uh, don't forget to click subscribe to the, the video and be subscribed to the channel so you can get more updates on tips, tools, and strategies to create an online business. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon.